I feel that our industry needs to continue to have a focus on uh, deepening our awareness of our biases. Greater awareness of our biases is going to open up our minds, open up our minds to different success profiles, opportunities for innovation and ways of working. The key focus for diversity and inclusion in insurance in 2020 should be developing the concept of allyship, to move beyond participation in events, to stand up, to speak up, and to actively implement and be the change we wish to see. For me, what would be really important in 2020, it would be um, for all businesses, all insurance companies to get their data integrity up to 100%. We can then start to look at everyone, what we can do with this, what are the trends, what analysis can we find. Gender diversity, we need to get going, to get better with strategies, to narrow the gap, especially at board, C-suite, senior management level. Diversity and inclusion should use the momentum that working from home has right now to compel and encourage companies to hire more people living with physical disabilities. In 2020, the insurance industry should focus on ensuring their staff are coping okay, that they have access to counselling when needed, and that they are being encouraged to use such counselling services. Mental health and physical health is key in 2020. I'd like to see the insurance industry create meaningful action on race equality for the rest of 2020 and beyond. The issues and barriers faced by people of colour are too often not seen and not understood by white people. This includes myself. We have to listen, learn and take action. We need to challenge ourselves to consider why there is such low representation from certain ethnic minorities within our industry. Something I would like to see uh, promoted more within the insurance industry is encouraging organisations within the insurance industry to have dedicated BAME sponsoring programmes. This COVID-19 crisis has uh, dramatically changed the way we live our lives and I think work-life balance should be one of the topics to be discussed. We need to have working environments that are flexible to a variety of lifestyles. The coronavirus situation is a good opportunity to consider flexible working styles.